Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Blade Idol on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Blade Idol and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Blade Idol. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all mates, to start we need to open our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to the next URL I have highlighted in green. Now, you are able to discover on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because there's a link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We landed right here on the site of Usitility, exactly where we have a nice in-depth explanation on the best way to obtain Blade Idol on personal computer. We scroll down a little bit and then click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on the link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Blade Idol on our PC. It is now obvious that we access a number of advantages of using that emulator. Now we will start downloading the Blade Idol by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. Next step is clicking on it. And the download takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It is a file we have to execute. What we are going to do is to run the executable file. Ok, so we have to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the laptop or device. We said yes. I minimize the browser to start to see the installation software much better. The installer is really easy to understand. It is made up of a couple of possibilities, install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does indeed. We basically just click on it. So we observe that we end up with here the path where the emulator will be put in. If we plan to modify this folder we have to click on that, browse, option, Therefore we choose another directory and install the emulator precisely where we would like. I am going to keep it by default. I simply click on back. So I simply click on install. Voila! The installation begins and it is going to commence in the download of these MB which are shown on our computer screen. The moment you save it on your computer, it might possibly be a little bit more or less megabytes. The download speed will go faster or slower, subject to your internet and according to the speed of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they are progressing rather fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has been started successfully. As you can observe, down here, there's a progress bar which will advance to the right when it attains the end, the emulator is started for the first time. The truth is the emulator was already started, there for the very first time. Before we carry on, as you can see now, it created a couple of app icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon will be one we're focused on. Anytime we have to run Blade Idol on our PC, we twice click on this software icon and run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we perform the following step, which is actually a must, and which is to log on to the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is launched. At this point we are required to log on. At this point as soon as we're on this page, we are required to begin doing this next step that is compulsory. So that we click on, sign in. At this moment it says, checking info. It might once in a while get blocked in, checking info, and this isn't going to advance. If that's the case, you could attempt to connect to your account after a few hours but it will surely usually be repaired. At this moment we will provide our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email address and its associated password. For instance you could use the same email you are using currently in your YouTube account. So I will enter my details and I will return as soon as I have completed it. That's it, details typed. Discover Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We should agree to all of them by simply pressing, I agree. Following, it offers us to backup to the Google Cloud. You can also leave it selected and this will produce a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play Store is launched automatically and completely on its own. To set up the app game, we must get to the emulator desktop by simply clicking that app icon indicated in green. Right now that we are watching the desktop of this emulator for Android, we can see that we now have right here the install app button. We simply click on that button. There we get the Android game. 
Let's simply click there on the install link that I'm just displaying now in green color. And this will begin the software setup. Straight away it should download on your desktop or laptop and set up the video game, it can take a little while or perhaps it may be very fast. It all is dependent upon on our internet connection. It's already completed installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by hitting this specific option that I am showing in green, that allows you to run Blade Idol for the first time. We're at present on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're on the way to simply click on that brand new Blade Idol icon that was generated. This video game is started for the first time. Here we get it, I'm able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should comment on the volume level of that emulator. This is right here. We have the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This manner we won't use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. And to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we will turn on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This is the first one, we mouse click on this software icon which I am showing in green color. And the screen is maximized, offering one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the event that we wish to launch the application using all the screen, we click this particular application icon. And we'd presently be experiencing and enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen mode. To get out of the 100% screen mode, hit the F11 key. And we might now play in standard display screen mode. At present, I am starting to clarify you the computer keys mapping and that is certainly rather appealing. That step we will certainly be ready to make use of the game app more easily. The first task is to press this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to get the recommended adjustments. Let me let the default settings, however if you plan to adjust this, you can do it without any problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is totally in our own language. On occasion it occurs that the emulator is started in the erroneous language, as an example, in Mandarin. And then to set it in the appropriate language we go there to the cogwheel. Then here inside of many other configurations, we just click on the language drop down. We will opt for the language we wish, Italian, Mandarin, and so on. Once the language is chosen, we would save, the emulator will restart, and the game app, the next time we use it, would of course be in the chosen language. At this point, there's another information that we have to take into account, and it's that we will get a message from Gmail reporting that a brand new equipment has been connected to our Google account. It will check with us if we're the ones who have connected that electronic device. Yes, we ought not worry, simply because the emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. In order to discover which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Therefore we go here to the, model, choice. And now we discover that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for our video user demo. I believe you enjoyed it, especially that you thought it was handy. If that is so, allow it a pleasant like, subscribe to the channel, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, requests or suggestions, leave them in the comment field below. You could also comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams from time to time, you get it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Just click any of those training videos that are appearing on the listing of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming video tutorials. Bye.